Hi, I'm Andy with EcoCha, and here we are with batch number 23 of the EcoCha Tea Club. And this month uh, is a batch of Yingshan High Mountain Black Tea. Yingshan is the Chinese name given to this hybrid strain. Uh, it's the hybrid strain number 20 registered by the Taiwan Tea Research and Extension Station. Yingshan is Chinese for alluring fragrance, at least that's how I translate it personally. Uh, it's a new hybrid strain that was put up for public sale about seven years ago, I believe, and uh, is slowly but steadily gaining popularity. The strain is noted for its flavor profile in that it's probably the closest in character to the original Qingxin Oolong. Uh, so Yingxiang is uh, Tai Cha number 20 and was designed uh, to grow at mid-elevations and is able to withstand drier growing conditions. So there are many places in Taiwan, particularly at higher elevations, where no uh, uphill irrigation is available. So the tea plants have to rely on rainfall and fog, uh, which is uh, a normal event uh, in the higher elevations of Taiwan for their precipitation. Uh, this batch of tea is from Big Wheel Mountain in the Shanlinshi tea growing region. Uh, I just put seven grams of tea in a teapot that is about 150 milliliters. So that's a little bit less uh, in the terms of the amount of tea leaves, uh, at least in comparison to a high mountain oolong or a, a traditional oolong where I might go eight, nine, or even 10 grams. Uh, depending on the character of the tea. But these tea leaves are slightly immature in comparison to the typical size of leaf that is harvested for making high mountain tea or other uh, Taiwan oolongs. The leaves are purposely harvested at an immature stage of growth uh, in order to gain optimal results in terms of the flavor profile in making black tea. In general, many high mountain tea farmers have begun to harvest leaves uh, from a short growing season following the spring harvest. So basically, the leaves that were too young to harvest at spring harvest, they let grow for about another month until they are uh, a little bit past half mature size. And then they harvested in early summer uh, for the purposes of making black tea. So the new trend in general in Taiwan is to make black tea from what is called small leaf type, which stands in contrast to the Assam plant, uh, as well as the Taiwan indigenous tea plant, uh, and the hybrid of those two, Assam and the Taiwan indigenous strain. Tai Cha number 18 is also classified as a large leaf tea. Anything other than Assam, the indigenous Taiwanese strain, and Tai Cha number 18 is considered small leaf. So small leaf type black teas include Qingxin Oolong along with the hybrid strains such as Jinxuan, uh, Cui Yi, Four Seasons Spring, and now this Tai Cha number 20 or Yingxiang. The interesting thing for us about this particular batch of tea is, is that it is the first opportunity we've had to source a batch of Tai Cha number 20 made as black tea. Uh, it was a new find, this plot of tea, that is on Big Wheel Mountain in the Shanlinshi tea growing area is a higher elevation of Tai Cha number 20 type uh, tea than we had known of in the past. Typically, uh, the farms we had known of previously are 1,000 meters or below. This farm is at 1,200 meters approximately. So it's a high mountain tea, uh, a hybrid strain, a late spring, uh, early summer crop picked at a, a stage of growth that is uh, a little bit more than half mature and processed as black tea. Noticeably fruity, kind of a concentrated sweetness like a preserved fruit. Yeah, it's like dried apricots, prunes, um, a little bit of a, a fruit pastry or a fruit pie kind of aroma coming off the brewed leaves.
definitely a sweet note. It's much lighter uh, than your typical black tea, or at least the generally known type of black tea uh, that would be made from Assam or other black teas from mainland China. The color of this tea is kind of a deep orange, uh, and it's quite transparent. And you get the, the, the ripeness, so to speak, of a black tea, but not that heavy, muddled uh, character that is often uh, uh, that you often get from a, a strong character of black tea. This is very delicate in terms of a black tea. So the delicate flavor, and that has something to do with using less leaves. I found that uh, being careful with the amount of leaves and not over brewing it or not brewing it too strongly uh, allows for a complexity of flavor to come out. If you put a lot of leaves in, that will get uh, kind of covered up, so to speak. The density or the concentration of the brew will kind of just muddle the flavor a little bit. If you get it just right, there's a very distinct uh, aromatic profile and a light, sweet character. I would say that in my personal experience of this small leaf black tea type, this is one of the most delicate profiles that I've had. Um, and delicate in the sense of the complexity of flavor that you get from it. So there you have it. Tai Chan number 20, Ying Shan, uh, which translates as alluring fragrance, a new hybrid strain that is uh, becoming popular in recent years here in Taiwan. This is our first time we've sourced a batch of Tai Chan number 20 made into black tea. And so it uh, has expanded our experience, which is also relatively recent, of this new trend of making small leaf black tea, which we're quite excited about. We think Taiwan is uh, showing its excellence once again with this new trend of teas uh, made that uh, kind of expands Taiwan's profile from being a source of the world's best oolong teas. Oolong in this sense meaning anything between a, a fully unoxidized green tea and a fully oxidized black tea. So Taiwan is famous for that broad spectrum of partially oxidized teas. But now the Taiwanese tea farmers are showing what we believe to be some of the most highly skilled uh, resources in the tea world in making black tea. So you might say that the Oolong tea makers are showing up in the world of black tea and, and doing a good job of it. And we're quite excited about that. We look forward to what you have to say about this batch of Yingshan uh, High Mountain Black Tea from Big Wheel Mountain in the Shanlinshi Tea Growing Region of Central Taiwan. Uh, please post your comments, photos, videos on our blog site for all of our tea club members to share. The Tea Club is for a communal learning experience. Uh, we feel uh, both honored and privileged by being able to source these unique batches of tea and share them with people who appreciate it around the world. Let us know what you think, and we'll see you next month.